Hi there, on behalf of ExpertVillage.com, my name is Candace Copeland. Thanks for joining me today. I'd like to show you a few of my finished pieces, some of them that are along the ethnic line. I also specialize in doing some pieces for men, so we'll, we'll explore both. This is, uh, a lot of times I make sure that I do two that work together, because then you get a really nice full effect, but that way you can wear one, you can wear the other, and then when you put them together, it's wow, absolute wow. So this is done uh, with brass. These pieces, most of this comes from Nepal, the, the pendants, I should say. These little antique coral beads with the silver caps, those are also Nepalese. But all this other work, the brass that you see and all of this, this is all African trade. So that, that makes up that look. Uh, and then I'm going to jump over to here because I'm still on the feminine side of this. Um, wonderful piece, an old Tibetan copal uh, pendant with animal figures around it. Then this is one of the Istanbul pendants that they call a rosary pendant. And we've got everything from old Tibetan mountain coral to more copal beads to turquoise, bone, uh, sponge coral, silver, amber, more bone. Look at these little carved fish. They're so such an unusual little bead. And then you want to try and get smaller and smaller around the neck so that you can wear it under a collar. Because if you put these kind of beads up here, you're going to have a big old bunch of stuff on your neck. And so that's why they get really small up towards the top. This particular piece, this comes from, uh, it's a Touareg bag from Morocco. Um, old leather, beautiful antique piece. Every piece in here is an old trade bead. Uh, this was one of those just said, oh, well, let's experiment with a different kind of clasp. So I beaded a little uh, circular thing and put a button on the end of it just to try and stay with that real ethnic look. There's little skull carved beads from prayer malas in Tibet little more a lot of the beads in this one come from different prayer malas they make prayer a mala is a necklace in in tibetan language i guess it would be so i i, I love getting their their beads because they have such spirit with them and they're so interesting and then adding this wonderful moroccan treasure this is a really antique 